Hey guys, thanks for stopping by The Creative Life. I know it's not quite spring yet. We still have about a little bit under a month left, but I'm not gonna put this off anymore. Um, it's cleaning my top loading washing machine. We live in Florida and we constantly go to the beach. We just went to the beach a couple days ago. So on top of sand from the beach, on top of washing my dog's covers, cause he sheds a lot because it's constantly hot here. On top of finding um, <laughs> rocks and flowers inside my son's pockets and all that debris ended up in the washing machine. I mean, it's the mildew builds up and sometimes it does leave a little smell. So we're going to go ahead and use an all natural um, cleaner to clean our washing machine. And the only thing we need is one half cup of baking soda and we just need, I have it over here. I'm trying not to spill it. Three cups of vinegar, of distilled vinegar. And I, I, you don't need gloves, but I like to use gloves because vinegar and baking soda, they tend to dry my hands out. I have a rag and I have an old toothbrush to get in between the crevices. Yes, it's one of my kids old um, airplanes toothbrushes. Don't don't judge me. Um, so what we're going to do the way we're going to start, we're going to I have it on the highest setting. The largest load that I can set is super. So I'm going to set it on super and I'm going to set it on the hottest setting as well, which is hot. Um, and I'm going to do a heavy load and I'm just going to I'm going to let this water run while it's running. I'm going to go ahead and add my vinegar. In it. And it's going to take a while for this to go just because I have it on the largest load. And then next I'm going to add my baking soda. So I'm going to let this go ahead and fill up just a little bit. Um, once it fills up, we're going to go through and we're going to clean out all of this. You know, all, you see that? That's disgusting. Dog hair, sand, lint. I'm not even sure how lint got in there. But we're going to go ahead and let this fill up and then we are going to get some elbow grease and get to working. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the extra parts that we're going to clean. Um, this liquid bleach, a lot of dust and dirt and like I said, dog hair just gets trapped up in here. A lot of sand. Um, also the fabric softener dispenser. So we're going to go ahead and take this apart and clean this out. Once this fills up, we're going to use the water from this to actually clean all these extra parts. And we're not going to forget about all of this. Don't forget about all of this. And a lot of people who do clean their top loading washing machines, they forget to clean, to clean all of this as well. Um, yes, they focus more on the drum, but um, we're, we're going to get this baby just sparkling clean almost new. So we, I'm going to let this go ahead and run for a few more minutes. Um, once it runs, I'm going to let it agitate. Um, I would say three or four um, agitations and I'm going to stop it and let this sit for about 40 minutes. And while that's sitting, that's when we're going to get started on cleaning the gunk. Okay, it's finally finished running. I'm going to go ahead and let it agitate just for a few minutes before we start cleaning, um, clean everything. So I'm just going to close the lid. And just let it mix up the vinegar and the baking powder, or excuse me, the baking soda with the um, with the water. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm just going to wipe all this down first before we um, start with the toothbrush. So I'm going to use my rag and I'm going to dip it in the water, same water that we're using to clean the um wash machine with and see the rag's not getting rid of these so that's when you pull out your handy dandy toothbrush starting to look better already.
Okay guys, we are finished cleaning the outside. It's completely clean. We even cleaned up underneath the drum. Now that we're finished cleaning the outside, I'm going to go ahead and let this run through a full cycle. Once it runs through a full cycle, any uh, mildewy smell, any debris left over, um, any extra lint or anything that fell in there, it'll be completely gone. And then I'm going to wipe down the bowl one more time once the water's completely drained out and we will be finished for the day. See you guys in a second. Okay guys, there you have it. Um, it ran through a full cycle. As you can see there, um, it's clean on the inside. All the dog hair, the dirt, the sand is completely gone. It's completely clean up underneath the drum. There is actually more um, yuck under there than I expect it to be. Um, but I'm happy with the results. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see what else I'm going to get ready to do or get clean for sp um, spring cleaning for the springtime, please go ahead and make sure that you subscribe um, and make sure that you like and um, you leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to just leave me any tips of what you do for spring cleaning. Thank you guys for joining me today in the Creator Life and I will see you guys next time.